Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, and um, they're wanting this to go into that. And I don't really, under, and this has some faults in it. You know, we've got some broken lines and little lines. So I just drew a bunch of square. And by doing that, I just made them, you know, I just took a rectangle and I made them two inches long by one inch wide. I've got my ratio here unlocked. And he draws in millimeters and, uh, well, black is fine. But so we have it two inches or one inch. We're going to change our nudge factor to 1.1. And then we're going to control D and make a duplicate. And we're just going to keep control D until we get over here. Now we're going to change it to, this is two. So we're going to go 2.1. That way they'll be spaced out evenly. Control D and move it down and then just control D. Now to make this work, you have to group this together. So we'll go up to object or control G and make it work. Now we can take this object and take our drawing. I'm actually going to use this red one because it's actually finer and it fits. Same thing. Go up to effects and envelope and you've got that selected to go right here to create envelope from form ah didn't work some shapes i found didn't work so this shape right here which is kind of close to his shape and i could get it there but look at that it did it and it looks pretty cool and there's no faults uh, you know, some of them are rectangle, then when it gets shorter, they become squares. And I don't know if this is totally going to help him because uh, his are, you know, there's some half pieces. They're all about the same size. And he will, I'm actually in my hotel room in Las Vegas, Nevada for the APA show. And it's late at night. And I was just playing around with this. And then like this shape work, you know, a double shape. I was having trouble with single shapes, but and this opens up a whole new ball of worms right here as far as making edge lights. This is pretty cool. Uh, things I haven't even thought of yet. But anyway, I hope that kind of helped him. I don't, I don't, I do not understand this part. I didn't even try it. And see it's not grouped together. Control G. Now, if I want to make a copy of his piece right here, I could draw in, no, maybe not, because it's, well, there's an outline around the whole thing. Let's do this. Let's, let's see if his shape will work. I'm going to grab the Smart Fill tool. Nope, it didn't work. There's too many leaks in it. Um, you could quite possibly fix that. Uh, it's probably leaking... Well, I don't know where it's leaking. Um, it should not really leak. Let me try some one more thing. Let me take this outer edge. Yeah, see there, there's the leak right there probably where these two nodes join. Yep, maybe so. So I'm going to shift select that one. I didn't mean to do this. <clears throat> and then go Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and join those curves. Now, if it was broken there, it's probably broken down here. So you can always check on your line. I'm trying to just get that outer line. Yep, see there's another break right there and a couple other breaks. I'm not gonna take the time to do that. I might look at it later. But let me just see if his shape would work. I've got it grouped together now. Let's expand it. I don't understand the drawing, uh, we know this one works, and grab it, and it kind of works, but I don't, I do not understand his uh, broken lines and whatever, because that's not what he's getting when he comes to it. I don't know if he was just trying to, you know, do this, and whenever you're doing something like this, 
and you've taken the time to do it, make a couple of copies of your item and then, because after you use it, it works. You might want to try it on another shape. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.